Okay, we're going to the stars. Lim seems to be feeling a little better now. I don't think she's completely back to her old self yet, but hopefully we can help with that. Mm. Drawing. Drawing. Lim, drawing on the floor is a no-no! Hmm? Lim, honey, the ship belongs to everyone. Analyzing okay. the data already? Uh, well, there is much to ponder. And besides, Here, sit down like a good girl. It's dangerous to run I around have to be like doing that, something. okay? <sighs> we don't have much data about the object. The Cardianon's aim, however, I have discovered. You might call it colonization by force. In other words, invasion. Hmm. Sounds to me like they don't deserve much sympathy. If those were their plans for... What is it? Oh, it's just that it occurred to me I don't even know this planet's name. The name of Limmel's home world, I mean. Hmm. Judging from the level of their civilization, it's possible they may not even have one. Lemurus. Huh? Lemurus. That's what Grandpa said. Lemel Lemery Fi. That's my name. I got the world's name, Kay. Lemuris. Hmm. That's a really nice name, Lim. Hmm. Thanks. I like it. Edge, there's some data here I think might interest you. That's the Aquila. Crow. Who would have thought we'd catch his trail here of all places? What shall we do? I await your instructions, Captain. I hereby issue new orders for SRF-003 Calnus. To further research the abnormal conditions on colonization candidate planet Lemuris, and to search for the lost Aquila, we set course for Arcturus 8. Base, you'll have the co-pilot seat from now on. Yes, sir. Callus, prepare for launch. Yes, sir. Okay, sir.
Don't judge a book by its cover, Welch. Limmel here is someone we can rely on. Eddie. But just look at her. She's a child, no matter how you cut it. Come on, what can you possibly rely on her for? Mm. I'm not a child, Kay. Huh? Multiple personality disorder or something? Now I'm really mad, Kay. Get her, doggy. What the hell was that thing? Huh. Not bad, huh? <sighs> well, looks like I lose, huh? That was pretty impressive, little girl. Limo, was it? Not bad at all. Hey, let's shake and make up. You may be all see-through, Welty, but you're not so bad, Kay. <laughs> she fell for it! She fell for it! Yep, she's still a child, all right! <laughs> hey, you! Get back here! Good grief.
Archie. Come here, come here. Come on, quick, Kate. What are you in such a hurry about? There's some kind of weird swishy swooshy noise coming from back there, Kay. A weird noise, huh? <sighs> Stay close to me. Kay. Phase? Uh, wow, this is somewhat awkward. Mmm, Faze, what do you think you're doing? I'm just practicing my sword work. Why are you angry? Hm. Sword training, huh? Would you like a sparring partner? I appreciate the offer, but, well, perhaps once I've polished my skills a bit more. Oh, yeah? Sorry to bother you, then. Let's go, Lim. Hmm. Hiding out and practicing isn't like FaZe, Kay. Really? I think trying to better himself behind the scenes is very like FaZe. Hey, what's up, you two? Edge, please, maybe she'll listen to you. It's much too dangerous to summon Cerberus in a place like this. My doggy won't be bad, Kay. He's a good boy. Look, Kay. <gasps> See, it's just fine. There's nothing to be scared of, Kay. I am certainly not scared. Then you try, FaZe, Kay. Very well, then. This is your good boy? Hmm. I guess I messed up. What? Did you just say you messed up? I really don't think you should summon him around here, okay?
So, this is the Cardianon home planet? It doesn't look like any planet I've ever seen. Yes, more like a giant space fortress. It's all chunky and spiny and looks like it had hurt. However, our coordinates are correct. This is Arcturus 8, Cardianon. <laughs> What's happening? Report! The fortress is emitting some kind of magnetic field. We're being pulled in! A tractor beam? <sighs> we can't break free! <sighs> Forgive me. If only I'd noticed sooner. Edge, they're not responding to communications. Pulling us in without so much as a warning. That's not playing very nice. Edgy, are we gonna get captured? Hey, look on the bright side. Maybe we're guests. Guests, right. We've landed. No damage to the ship. No welcoming party, huh? Either they don't think much of us, or they've set us a trap. Their tractor beam is still in operation. I think we can safely say they've no intention of letting us go. All right, here's what we're going to do. First, gather information on anything related to the Aquila or the mystery object on Limeris. Second, Deactivate the tractor beam and get the hell out of this fortress. Judging by their welcome, we may end up having to fight with Cardianon along the way, but... Let's hope that doesn't happen. That's all. Any questions? Great. Let's go. I knew they weren't going to play nice with us. It appears we have no choice. We'll simply have to proceed prepared for battle.
detected. There's my piece. Intruder detected. Is this a morgue? Don't say things like that. Edge, these Cardianon are in cold sleep. Cold sleep? I can't begin to imagine why, but most of the Cardianon must be in stasis here. Well, I guess that's why we haven't seen very many of them, it's huh? It's so cold in here. Oh, when you're cold, the best thing to do is get moving, Kay. to trip people, Kay. What happened, honey? What? This... this is one of those lizard men we fought on Lemuris. Did they mutate inside their capsules? Or did they mutate after they got out? Hmm... Is this... the same thing we saw happening on Lemuris? What the... Whatever it is, it's coming this way. Let's take a different corridor. We don't need any trouble we can avoid. Come on, Lim. Okay, let's go. Cardianon seem to be an even more vicious species than I thought. They've been forcefully taking over planets with undeveloped civilizations, one by one. It seems the invasion of Lemuris was only a small part of their plans. FaZe! Uh, I... I'm sorry, Limmel. That was insensitive of me. Mm, it's fine. I understand, Kay. 
In any case, we can hardly leave the Cardian on alone now, can we? We know what we have to do. I couldn't live with myself if we let something like the tragedy on Lemuris happen again. Well, before we can do anything, we need more information. How is it looking, Face? Yes. Let's see if there's anything else. Wait! Stop it right there! Oh, okay. Edge, isn't that... Yeah. It looks like the source of the disease on Lemuris. Faze, pull up detailed data on this thing. I'm afraid I can't. The data's protected too heavily to break into. <sighs> I can read the file name, the Epiphanies of Guidance, but that's all I can access. The Epiphanies of Guidance? Hmm, that doesn't tell us anything at all. However, there seems to be something important inside this central isolation chamber, though I can't get any details. Do you think? There might be another one of those objects there. All right, let's head for that isolation chamber. Damn it. Well, that's sure not getting us anywhere. This room must be protected by some sort of energy field. One that can render any attack powerless. 
Uh. I've actually been having Limmel here try uh. her hand as well. This is weird. I can't use my symbology. As you can see, the field even disables symbology. That alone is impressive enough, but... We were transported to this room in an instant. That was matter transference. Teleportation. An energy field and teleportation. <laughs> They're certainly not lacking for technology. Thus is the wisdom granted to us by the epiphanies of guidance. It is useless to resist. Who's there? Huh? What's this floaty floaty thing? It would seem we've been scanned. Uh, how embarrassing. Are you a Cardianon? Where are you? How about you quit prying on us and show yourself? <gasps> Cease your bellowing, inferior being. You would do well to realize your place. Are you the leader of this ship? And what if I am? Because if you are, I've got something to ask you. What are these epiphanies of guidance? What was that thing that made such a mess on Lemuris? Our friend's home! Answer me! Edgy. We, the Cardinal, shall be the rulers of this infinite cosmos. We have been blessed by the gods. All inferior beings will be eliminated. What? It's okay, honey. We're with you. You're out of your mind! You think it's okay to cause pain because you're some kind of superior beings? We are merely implementing the natural laws of nature. You bastard! If I may interject, you have not yet answered the key question. What do you to gain from knowing the words of the gods. The what? Well, well. So, you are descendants of the Mua. Mua? Impurities are of no use to us. You are Muan blood. Muan blood? Is he talking about us? <clears throat> we issue a mandate. You will stop the Steel Giant. Steel... Giant? You will instruct the Steel Giant to cease its destructive activities and surrender at once. Hold on! What the hell is this Steel Giant? An invader. It came here with an accomplice who escaped our grasp. Another descendant of the Mua, like yourselves. In fact, he wore the exact same symbol as you. You were saying he had the SRF emblem on him? We believed we had captured his ship. But apparently, yours was merely a vessel of the same design. However, your vessel also bore precious specimens. Two, in fact. Thus is the will of the gods the same design the same emblem so he actually was here after all I think I finally understand the cause of all the damage we've seen on this ship everything is because of this steel giants destructive activities it's no wonder the Cardian on paid us so little attention in any event you are to be used as specimens you will enlighten the giant before you are disposed of. Heed my words and instruct it immediately. Surrender at once! Fine. You want some instruction, huh? Edge! My name is Edge Maverick! I'm a friend of Crows! Listen! I have no idea who or what you are, but if you came here with Crow... 
Don't hold anything back! Smash this ship to pieces! The Cardianon are insane! We do not understand your actions. You will remain in confinement here until your punishment has been decided. Um, sorry? There's no need to apologize. Frankly, I feel relieved. You sure told him. Edgy, you're so cool. Yep, just like you, Edge. Though I do think you went a little bit overboard. What these Cardianon are doing just isn't right. I know you would have acted the same way, Crow. <laughs> 